it's a meal prep day. Hi awesome people and welcome to my channel. So today is a meal prep day and the first thing I did is or the first thing I do is uh, cut or chop the onions, tomatoes, uh, capsicum and dania. Since I had to boil the meat, the next thing I did is just cut the ginger and uh, some onion so that I can add when boiling. I went ahead and added ginger, onions and salt to boil. And since gas is expensive, I had to use a jiggle to boil. Next I'm going to marinate my chicken and I have lemon, turmeric, salt and later on I added uh, black pepper. Place my lemon on the surface so that it's easy to squeeze the juice. I'll go ahead and cut then squeeze the juice. So next I'll just go ahead and add the ingredients that I mentioned. So at the moment I'm just adding turmeric. Black pepper. And I even went ahead to add uh, um, onions. So these are blended onions. So you don't want to use just chopped to uh, chopped onions. So I'm using uh, blended onions. And then I'll just go ahead and mix. Then I go ahead and add my mixture into the chicken. So I'll keep on marinating until I feel that uh, it's all mixed. Thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, prepare my meatballs so that's why you see me removing the onions from the um, is it blender <laughs> yeah so um, I want to add um, 
dania and um, garlic so that's why i had to empty the um, blender so yeah So when done, I go ahead and mix everything. So in this case, I'm mixing the garlic, which was already mixed with the dania, and then I'm adding uh, blended onions, as you can see here. I then add some uh, salt. Next thing is I'm going to uh, beat an egg. I just added a little bit of salt and then I'll add to the rest of the ingredients. This is my mince meat, so this was half a kg and I bought it for 350 shillings. So next I'll just pick the mixture and start adding the mince meat. And then just mix until, make sure it mixes well. And then when it's done, when you're done, that's when you go ahead and start making the balls. So there's no like a technique or something. So you just roll with your hands until it, you form a ball.
pick my dengue special i saw that's how they call it it's different from the green grams so i just had to pick it and then wash it and then went ahead to boil it uh, from the jiko is set up as you can see i have the tomatoes i have the onions capsicum tania the meatballs the meat itself that i boiled in the on the jiko I had some tomato paste there yeah I have like everything set up so that when I start frying and cooking it's uh, easy so I've set up the pans with the oil so I have my meatballs so I'm putting the meatballs in one of the pans go ahead and put the chicken on the other pan so before I fry my chicken I just put it in the oil so that it can um, at least cook a bit and uh, I want it to at least be brown like it shouldn't be just plain when I'm frying so that's why I had to put in uh, like fry uh, to put in an, in oil so that I can just fry a bit before now I go ahead and make stew and i'll have to apologize guys i lost some videos i lost at least four videos and in those videos i uh, that's where i was frying the meatballs uh beans and the um, chicken so you guys will have to forgive me i had to just do this because i spent some time and i couldn't like just let it sleep so i tried to look for the videos or I tried to recover the videos but I was not able to so you'll bear with me actually part of the video where i was doing the meat also got lost so that's why you see me uh, then the clip just jumped to the meat as you can see here and then of course the beans which i had already um fried so for now i'm just doing the meat and that's the the soup that was i used to boil the meat and that's why i had to warm it because it had gone cold and i had to warm it so that I could add it on the meat and as you can see the meat looks really nice it looks tasty so that's why I'm adding the water so that it can start just it can finish cooking So next I'm doing my uh, dengue special uh, 
so i'm just doing the onions uh, adding the tomatoes then adding the capsicum and went ahead and added salt so i just mixed everything plus of course the tomato paste so that i could cook and then just finish uh, frying the dengu special as they call it that's what i saw online yeah So we are done and you guys can see my meal so i have the dango special i have the chicken i have the meat i have the meatballs and i have the beans next of course i had to pack them in containers or tins in this case it's actually containers your yeah, food containers so that I can be able to store them in the fridge and just to let you know I promised that I'm going to do a video again on how I made my meatballs the chicken and of course the beans and partly the meat because of course I lost the videos but at least you guys could see how I prep before I started frying but I really I know I will create a video for you guys so that you're able to see the entire process That is it for this video thank you guys for watching especially if you watched from the start to the end i do really appreciate and if you've not subscribed to my channel kind reminder please do so and for those who've subscribed i do really appreciate your support thank you for watching and do have a lovely one